Well, one thing is that I'm really excited for November 8th to come. And I really cannot wait to see the sea of I Voted stickers in my feed on both, um, because that will mean that this is all over. Um, I, think, I, think that, um, I think this election is going to be remembered for a lot of things. But one thing I think this election is going to be remembered for is that this is the most visual election that we've had to date. We're seeing um, all candidates using Instagram and Facebook in really interesting ways. On Instagram, you know, you would see um, Hillary Clinton posting a photo of herself watching Chelsea Clinton introduce uh, her at the Democratic National Convention. She's beaming with pride. You connect with her as a mother because that's what you connect with. You've also you see seen Donald Ivanka, Trump. Yeah, and you've also seen Ivanka Trump doing that a lot as a, yeah, as a new mother. And exactly. Talking about their you see policies. Donald Trump celebrating a victory with McDonald's on his plane, the American way. Um, so you see them telling their stories in their own way. But I think something else that's been super interesting is how engaged the electorate has been around this election. You see it play out on Facebook. Um, there have been like around, I think it's 105 million uh, uh, people have driven, you know, billions of interactions on, on Facebook. And on Instagram, people are telling stories in interesting ways. So a colleague of mine from uh, uh, Instagram showed, did an Instagram story. He had received his ballot in the mail. He showed that, you know, who he was going to vote for. And then what he showed very visually is that there were all these propositions in California that he had to vote on and he didn't know what to do. <laughs> so he crowdsourced you know, information about what he should do on all these various uh, propositions. So it's been really interesting to see how engaged and how people are telling that story about engagement around the election.